Hi, Hiram here. I got a comment the other day from DNA Splice where uh, requesting that I test the Evernew Ultralight Titanium Stove in the Folding Firebox Nano. You've seen this before. This is a prototype that Steve over at Folding Firebox sent me. Uh, I've done tests on it using the Trangia, but now I'm going to do a test using the Evernew just in here like this. Now the thing is the distance from the outer uh, jets here to the bottom of the pot in this setup is way off the sweet spot. It's about two and three eighths inches. So obviously that's not going to be a good distance but I'm going to try it and see what happens and then if there's interest I'll do another one where I elevate the Evernew up closer to the sweet spot. I'll be doing this with two fluid ounces of methanol, see how long it gets this to a boil and see how long it takes for a run out. So let me get some water prepped, some alcohol in here, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got two cups of water setting at 60 degrees. I have two fluid ounces of methanol in the Evernew titanium stove, uh, two fluid ounces by weight. Let's light this. Okay, now on something like this, I don't really have, well I guess maybe I'd better because it might not fan down there. The uh, flames are going, I don't know if you'll be able to see this on the camera. That's just in the center hole. See if it gets enough airflow to light the lower jets. Come on. I could be, I probably should have put the pot right on here instead of wasting all this time. Plus my temperature is dropping because of the room temperature. So I think I'm going to put it on there just to help reflect it. So again, two cups of water now setting at 59 degrees. And let's see what this does. Okay, there we are at two minutes into the test. The temperature just got up to 100 degrees. I think you can see through the wood full fill hole on the nano that the bottom jets are lit. Um, the flames are a little screwed up. The, this stove, boy I can't talk today. The stove should be really raised up in here a little bit. But uh, the temperature is going up so let's see how long this takes to get to a boil. There we are at 210, 211, 212 in 6 minutes 10 seconds. Okay, let's see how long this runs now for run out. Okay, the flames are going. The jets are all off. All it is is it oh, just went out at 1516. 1516. Okay. So that was two cups of water starting at 59 degrees. Room temperature is 57 degrees Fahrenheit, 13.8 degrees centigrade, 44 percent humidity. It's cloudy and a little breezy outside. But that got the water to a boil in 6 minutes 10 seconds. On using the Trangia, the mini Trangia, it got 60 degree water to boil in 5 minutes 25 seconds. Now the thing is, I may not have started that test right away. I may have waited for the jets to come to a bloom. But also with this, the uh, jets are a little further down on the Evernew than what they were on the Trangia, so that's going to make a difference. Whereas on the Trangia, the jets are all on the top here. The ones that burn on this are these lower ones. The inside are pretty much, I think, just for getting the stove started. So it was about 45 seconds or so, 35 seconds slower with this setup to get water to a boil. If I don't bore you to death, I'm going to do another one where I elevate the Evernew stove up a little bit so that these outside lower jets get closer to the one inch sweet spot distance between that and the bottom of the pot. Also, I think by raising this up, 
it'll expose the vent holes on the bottom of the Nano. The flames on this looked way more yellow than what they should have, what they usually do. I'm not sure that this was getting enough air in through the, the uh, fuel hole and the jets on the side because the bottom vent holes, the big ones, were all blocked up with this setting on it. If I raise this up on a cross piece or something, that'll let a whole lot more air up and through. Okay, I thank DNA Splice for suggesting this. I hope it helped. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.